My name's Kathy Noakes, I'm from the Bandura area uh, out along Kuma Road. Um, I'm part of the so-called Mosquito Fleet that we got named after a while. Um, that just came about the same as the original RFS, was just neighbours helping neighbours, mates helping mates. We were a quite tight-knit, organised group between us. Uh, a lot of the people in our group are RFS qualified. Um, there was myself and Mark Holland, which are ex-captains of the areas. Mark was captain of Bombay and I was captain of Farringham for a lot of years. We all had our UHF radios and we were in very tight communication between us and Triple Zero and the Fire Control Centre at Raybrook. So it was a very organised uh, response. We weren't just sort of renegades out running around, you know, getting in the way. So and I think it was an important part to stopping the fires from going through to Majors Creek. Uh, so what we've done to try and coordinate all the, the uh, yeah. different um, assets that we've got available to us in the Mosquito Army is we've created a bit of a whiteboard here so we know where people are roughly and what time they're at there and what kind of capacity they're holding as well. Any of you lads and lassies who want to uh, jump in your farm you, and, and help out during the fires, it, it really does pay to uh, get some good training, understand the safety aspects of everything, um, pop down to your local RFS shed and talk to them there um, if you're unaware of what you should really be doing um, and then you'd be far better off to do a good job. Our main objective was to stop the fire crossing Cooma Road and getting into the rugby area and going straight through the Majors Creek because we knew once it was going to hit there there'd be no stopping it at all. Um, so we were aware of how far the RFS was stretched so we were able to, you know, just sit there and wait and put out spot fires as they occurred uh, quickly in our utes.